a short history of Montana's continuing education and certification program for public libraries, 1990 to 2022, presented by Cole Barto, State Library Continuing Education Coordinator. Public library standards have been in place since 1969 that encouraged continuing education for all staff and recommended the types of coursework and areas of study for continuing education. Every 10 years or so, the standards and certification program are reviewed and changes are adopted by the Montana State Library Commission. In 1990, a voluntary certification program was defined, but conversations began in the years following to include certification of library directors to meet public library standards and eventually to connect certification to the distribution of funding to libraries. In 1999, through work with a task force, the change was made to require public library directors to be certified. 2009 marked another round of changes that included renaming the program and updating the requirements for directors, staff, and trustees. With a new update to the public library standards going into effect in July 2022, it is time to review the Montana State Library Certification Program again. The Montana State Library Commission established the Montana Library Certification Program in 1990 as a completely voluntary program. The goals of the original certification program were to improve library services throughout the state, motivate librarians, staff, and trustees to acquire, maintain, and develop their skills through continuing education, recognize individuals who update their knowledge and skills on a continuing basis in order to provide better library services to their patrons, improve the public image of librarians and libraries, and provide guidelines for governing boards to use to select and retain personnel. During the first years of the program, a screening board was selected to review the applications for certification and decide to approve or deny those applications. The program utilized paper-based applications and was very labor-intensive for both the Montana State Library staff and the screening board members. A switch to paperless management of certification information following the 2009 updates brought the certification program into the digital age. A common feature of the certification program is categories. The categories have changed a little over the last 30 years. Note that technology was separated out in 1999. For those of you around during that time, the internet was just arriving in libraries and patrons were beginning to depend on public libraries to support learning about technology and about how to use technology. The categories of library administration, library services to the public, collection management and technical services, as well as technology, are fairly consistent with certification programs from other states around the country. In 2009, new public library standards and the update to the certification program addressed the idea of competencies shared across the library professions, emphasized the need for improving recognition, and the specific needs of public library trustees. There are similarities to the original program goals, and as we look forward to reviewing the certification program requirements, it has always been important to hear from you, library directors, staff, and trustees, about how the goals can be changed to reflect where we are today and where the library profession is headed in the future. So now that we've walked through a very brief history of the Montana State Library Certification Program, let's look at the current requirements for each of the three certification tracks, staff, administration, and trustees. The staff certification track requires 60 CE credits earned in a four-year period with a minimum of 10 credits in each CE category. There are also certification specializations available that make it possible for participants to be recognized for continuing education in a given category that is above and beyond the basic certification requirement. Participants can earn a specialization in collection management and technical services, or library services to the public, or technology, by accumulating a minimum of 20 credits in that category. Because there is a library administrator track, there is not a specialization in the library administration CE category. Individuals interested in library administration as a specialization are encouraged to pursue the library administrator track. You don't have to be a director 
to do the administrator track. The library administration track requires 60 CE credits earned in a four-year period, with a minimum of 20 credits in the library administration CE category. Only directors are required to complete the library administration track, but anyone can enroll in this track and earn the certification. For trustees, a focus on library laws, budgeting, and the specific roles and responsibilities of a trustee is key. Additionally, learning about how to improve library services is helpful to have effective governance, balanced relationships with the director and community, as well as helping libraries plan strategically for the future. With 15 credits earned in a four-year period and the annual requirement for the board as a whole to receive continuing education, trustees will be well positioned to meet their responsibilities. Now that we've covered the history and requirements, here are two frequently asked questions to be aware of. What is a CE unit and what counts for credit? One contact hour of qualified training equals one continuing education credit. The smallest unit allowed in the current program is one half hour or 0.5. In general, library specific training provided by library or library related organizations that is presented in a structured learning situation is eligible for continuing education credits. Useful or valuable training imparts knowledge or skills that can be used to improve library services. Relevance to the library and its needs is also very important. Individual staff members and libraries have unique needs or gaps in learning. Library directors with the support of the library board should plan continuing education that is useful and relevant to them. With the history and current requirements in mind, this timeline to update the Montana State Library Certification Program is ambitious and timely. Stay in touch with our progress through visits to the Montana State Library website and by subscribing to our newsletters. Before we go, just a reminder that the 2022 Public Library Standards have one significant change related to continuing education and certification for trustees. Trustees must receive at least three hours of continuing education each year. This can be accomplished in a variety of ways, but should include a quorum of the board for each continuing education opportunity. This standard does not require tracking of continuing education credits for certification. Trustee certification remains voluntary for individuals. Thank you for watching this brief history of the Montana State Library Certification Program.